I'm Scott Artley. I'm the performing arts curator at Patrick's Cabaret, where we are right now. Patrick's Cabaret supports artists working on the edge of culture and their growth and development. The mission is specifically focusing on supporting artists uh, who are GLBTQ uh, with disabilities and artists of color. Uh, Patrick's Cabaret was started in 1986 by Patrick Scully um, and we moved into this firehouse building in 1999. Thousands of artists come through the doors um, presenting works that are especially experimental, sort of um, the craziest stuff that you could ever really imagine happening. March 6th we have a Jake Manders CD release show. The following weekend, March 13th and 14th, we have Nick Martell's guest curated cabaret, which is called Gray Matters. It's about the intersection of mental health and identity. And then the following weekend, we have a singer-songwriter series, which is for singer-songwriters. The following weekend is really our big smash spring thing, uh, which is called the Culture Wars Cabaret. It's part of this weekend-long activity uh, called the Culture Wars Then and Now, which is a partnership with the Walker Arts Center and the University of Minnesota and here at Patrick's Cabaret. So we'll have a cabaret that's all about 21 years after the Culture Wars. I mean, everything's different every time, which I think is the best part. It's the variety that makes it the most interesting. One activity that we have that goes on once a month is uh, called the Kaloff Series, which is na named for Joan Kaloff, who's a supporter of the cabaret. And we uh, pair two singer-songwriters and two storytellers, spoken word artists, to present works in progress. So thinking about how we support artists at all stages of their development, how do we support work being made in its earliest stages? And that's this really wonderful, intimate event. We hang out here in the lobby. There's free coffees, free pastries, usually like really big cookies from Baker's Wife and whatnot. Um, and it's a really relaxed, wonderful opportunity. Okay, the Cool Moms Cabaret is going to be fantastic because it's all, it's six women who are mothers in some way, who have also supported a career while they're being mothers. It's actually a really underrepresented group of artists. If you think about it in particular, I, I heard recently somebody say, oh sure, there are artists who are parents, they're called fathers. <laughs> Art has this dual capacity to agitate, to break things apart, but also to stitch things back together and um, having that sort of healing capacity and the capacity to break things apart is what makes the world progress. Emily Angelo at Honeycomb Salon styles my head. Hi, I'm Erin Flavin. I'm owner of Honeycomb Salon on 35th and Nicollet. And this is one of my stylists, Emily Angelo. <laughs> we do stuff with artists and uh, local jewelers and designers. And it's nice to have a space that I can transform into a different uh, functionality beyond uh, hair. Uh, I used to see Emily at her previous location and she was so good with men's hair in particular that I had to follow her again. What do you like about the arts community in Minneapolis? There are a plethora of different artists. There is a lot of great local music and um, art that I get to see up at the salon. It's great. And people come in, a lot of artists come in to get their hair cut and styled and it's great to talk to them about what they do. I hear about uh, all sorts of things, different events that are happening. It's a, it's a good way to network and it's a good way to find out about interesting things happening around the community. Well, I would hope that more local businesses like ours would showcase more work and have openings and gatherings for the community. Um, I think that would be really important if more of that happened. There's more art than organizations have capacity to exhibit, so having places like this where people live their everyday lives as a way to interact with that art I think is the way that we should be supporting things as much as possible. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say we would probably go to Madame and do a karaoke. Yeah? I think that would be my dream date with. Could we get burritos Scott? beforehand? We can get burritos beforehand and then maybe we'd stop by the 19 bar and have a yeah. drink. Those are all my usual haunts, you're right. Weird. <laughs> we know each other so well. It's right true. Now.